it. Yeah. Turn me this down the good. headphones. Turn me, turn me up a little bit on the headphones. <laughs> this is my story. Okay, how are we feeling? Na, 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 na. The thing is, yeah, I thought you were going to sing the church song. This is my oh. story. <laughs> This I don't know is my song. song. <laughs> Praise you, my savior. Thank you, Jesus. All the day long. <laughs> Good Lord. This is my story. This, this is my song. Oh, praise you, my Savior. You didn't even know the end of the song. Shut up. All the day long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise me. Mm. Give him all the glory. Nothing Thank you, like Lord. Early morning praise. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, even Bless though it's the afternoon. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's going, man. <laughs> Do you know why? Because it's the morning somewhere. Good morning. Yes. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time you're listening. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome yes, yes, yes. to welcome, episode welcome. 72 of DBTH Podcast. Bazinga. AKA <laughs> Don't Believe the Hype Podcast. Okay, the segues. We were already on to a good start. Okay, <laughs> I'm feeling nice. How are you guys feeling? You okay? Yeah, I'm yeah, good. man. I'm good. sweet. Man. We started on the Lord, so it's going to be a yeah, blessed you know. episode for us. Come on now. Praise be to Jesus. him. Okay, well, I am Casey, aka Case Boogie, aka Choir Lead. What's going on? Tell me nice things. <laughs> hey, I'm in the cut. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's Mr. Three, and the Lord definitely accepts this because it's Mr. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong with what? being nasty. Jesus oh. said there's nothing wrong with being nasty. But where did Jesus say that exactly? <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna never lie on my Jesus. Yeah, don't start black. I'm gonna lie on my Jesus. Yeah, no. Jesus, I'm sorry, I lied on your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You on know? your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you are just digging yourself. So Jesus, I lied on your ass. We got to really <laughs> fix that. Sorry, one. Lord. <laughs> Double time, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> And it's Mr. MBT, the one and only. Good afternoon, guys. Boy, yeah, boy, 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 wherever boy. you may be, it might be morning, it might be evening. You can't do it twice. <laughs> you can't do it twice. Come on, man. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Bear praises. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> You know when out. old women are like, oh yeah, I do. oh thank you. <laughs> thank you Everything you sit down, thank you. <laughs> Drinks water. Oh, God. We thank him for this blessed day. I thank know that's right. <laughs> All right, let's get straight into it, please. Yes. Today, you know we like to come with a theme. Yeah, Don't be do. confused by what you can see. We're going to explore it a little deeper. That's if, if you can see it. You can, mm. man. Come on, bro. No. Oh, yes. Exactly. You right. If you I know, you know. Assuming. If you don't know, then just go on with the episode. I was just assuming that you man were all down with YouTube town. Mm. But for those who are listening to us, mm -hmm. it will do you well as ever. It will. Come on down to YouTube, YouTube town, town. Yeah. where you can see these trainers in a what? In a real, real life. life. Gorgeous. All right then, guys. Before yeah, we continue, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should announce Road to 500 is still going on, guys. Road to 500 is live and direct, okay? Okay. Okay, please. So what you need to do is follow <laughs> us on Instagram, okay, DBTH Podcast. And once you get there, you tell your friends. You say, guys, tell come family. on. Tell a friend to tell a friend. T exactly. Come on, period. They, and get on it. They okay? say word of mouth. Is the best form of marketing. Mm. Yep, you Use right. Use that shit. Use <laughs> <laughs> Nick Nack Paddywhack. Give a dog a bone. A bone. <laughs> okay, mm. Come on that now. made no sense. Anyway, <laughs> follow us on the gram DBTH podcast. So once we hit five hundred followers, we'll give you a gift. A little gift. Not it all of y'all. One of y'all. I don't know why you don't want a free gift. <laughs> you know? Don't you want a gift? You don't want to be gifted. Gifted. How's that gifted? Some Hashtag of the best gift. things in life are free. Come on. Ooh. Especially from us. I know oh, that. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, Bazinga. 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 <laughs> Why? Texas hold him. Okay, cool. Let's right. go. Okay, so it's time for we haven't even introduced. Tables trainers. Trainers tables. Watch out. Nice. Succinct. Yeah, man. <laughs> Quick. Yeah. But said the choir must want to just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys let's get straight into it so let's get it we do have a theme you would know the title by now because obviously all our episodes are titled mm. but we are gonna take it back mm. to the old school back down memory lane yes. but once we're down there we're also gonna take a cheer way back back to the future to that new school mm -hmm. okay Come so on. this is a battle mm -hmm. of the old versus the new mm. okay so that's what we have in front of us we're gonna start to the right of us to yes. the right of us we have a clap classic old school clap me prefer a big time one yeah, of these classic can't go wrong with them it's a michael's pair a classic shoe yeah um shoes that i wish i owned when i was younger my parents never 
Yeah, I got man. the wall of foes. I didn't get the wall of foes. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the fugazi. You know, it's, it's good that you got the wall of foes because the wall of bees were expensive. Were. And when you ruined them, They're my mother beat my ass. No, she didn't yeah. beat my ass, but she was very disappointed because they were bloody expensive. Let yeah. me just say for guys, this was an amazing football shoe. Yeah. This, this, the, the, this, the, the curl, boy, boy. Because all you had to do is te. Boy. Because <laughs> it's got a little. Scoop. Yeah, yeah. Got little yeah. But the yeah. thing is, every time you did a te, <laughs> a layer of that, that yeah. soul goes. Yeah, the the thread in, one thread comes out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they You only have a certain amount of toys to go. The bottom is actually an eraser. Is it? And now I'm trying shit, man. Oh, I was about to it say, actually, might as well call it. Right? That, that no, try, yeah. try and write and then try and rub hey, it out. What's wrong with you? <laughs> can we do that off mic? Can you imagine? Imagine you got a test. <laughs> you got a test. Where's my Excuse rubber? Me, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're silly. Um, This is a classic shoe. Mm-hmm. And I think even though it is an old school pair, I would happily wear this. In Jesus' name, let's just wait for my pair to come. Yeah, man. Amen. They're, totally. go- they're a gorgeous okay. shoe. Okay. It's banging. I'm not going to really lie. I, I was not looking at shoes like this. Mm. But Casey told me, you it's, broaden it's, your horizons. It's a nice shoe. It's a nice it shoe. It's Especially a very cool people shoe. are wearing it now, actually. I kind of think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah very, yeah. very it, it's, it's coming back in stat. Yeah, I don't think it ever left. Jamaicans will tell you that for free. That's they might have been banging these wannabes. They, wear, they don't even wear these low ones. They wear the mid-tops. Yeah, they wear the boots. <laughs> the mid-tops. Their boots, the golden With, boots. Mm. Big time. Okay, let's move on. To the left of us, we have, this is my pair, um, mm. straight from Homerton Hospital. Oh, it's, <laughs> it just looks like a nurse's shoe, badly. Yeah, I, anyway, I get, I get, yeah, it's an authentic band. Is this the is the authentic one, isn't yeah, it? Or is it yeah. error? Authentic, authentic. It's authentic, yeah. yeah. So these are my pair. Uh, classic. Oh, guys, apologies for my voice. It was sexy <laughs> before, but now I just sound ill. Husky. It's all right, but yeah, Sorry. husky, wusky. You That's know, who I you know what it reminds me of? You remember that season, that period when everyone was working those um, prime up themselves? Yeah, the kids, the fake kids. The fake kids. This yeah. is what it reminds me of. This yeah. is because I could never see past that. I know Vans do have their line. I think it's the LX line. And do you have yeah. the, the the Vault line too? The LX line's a new line, isn't it? I think it's the more premium the, line. Yeah. yeah. But essentially, when they when they bring out Authentic in that line, yeah, they look different for me personally. I don't know why. I, I really think they, like I think them, they look though. better. I think they do look better. I like the ones that aren't puffy, which is kind of like what yeah, the yeah, exactly. next ones exactly. are. I really like this pair. Yeah. I'm mm. still really not sure on the colour. I, I think I've said this before on the pod. I don't like buying blue trainers. I really don't like blue trainers. Mm. Right, okay. I'm not like the teal colour like the Salehis, yeah. but like this. That look like denim. So I'm a bit... But the suede on Shambry. them. But yeah, it's just... Oh, for flip's sake. <laughs> Put your foot down. You did this Sile- last week. <laughs> Sile- <laughs> yeah, I like these, but um, they were £35. Yeah, exactly. I didn't have a choice. What a and bargain. I saw them on sale. I was like, give me them. I'm yeah, like, give me that. So yeah, but this is... The reason why it's on the pedestal... Um, not pedestal. The reason why it's on Tables Trainers is because... This is a trainer, not this exact one, but the black ones and all the other, like Vans had their error in it. Yeah, they did. And they I think did. it was in between like school mm. and now. For yeah. me, it was first year of college. Right. Yeah, year college, of college. It was when you were in college like, for me. That, yeah, that 2000, 2009 Nine, to 10, 2011 11, time. Yeah. That time was, was Vans. When you were a jerk. Yeah, oh, daddy exactly. All about Tisa, that. Ga- Tisa snapbacks. Yeah. Guys will be wearing jeans and cardigans. Tisa snapbacks. Tisa snapbacks. Oh, and snapbacks in general. Snapbacks this is general. Tumblr era. Yeah, this exactly. is what this is. This is yeah, Tumblr yeah, season. Yeah. And I lived through it. I had plenty. Fox but these are the ones I hear. Don't know. Fox tells. Are you crazy? Yeah, I remember tells. when I brought that home, my mum was like, Are you suck? I, I wore it to yeah, a lot from yeah, there. No one could no see the vision. I laughed at them. Yeah, no. When you did that, I was like, This guy, you do not know you look like a fox. They they couldn't see the vision. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Truly. All right, then, guys. We don't have a pedestal today because we believe that this is our equal rights to Yes. We believe that there is none above the other, and also because we forgot the box. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> the box. Okay. The box Let's not forgot. pretend. Right. We are not perfect. We forgot the box. Oh, that's just the facts of it. Um, but on the uh, somewhat pedestal. The yeah, at the back of the table. <laughs> So what's the back of the, the team? The last trainer that we had. <laughs> <laughs> at the back. Um, it is the Yeezy Foam Runner. This is the epitome of new school. This is um, ahead of a time that even we are at right now. Uh, this has really been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but we live underwater <laughs> type energy. Yes, um, it's a crazy yeah. shoe. Yeah, you know that you know that um, that meme of LeBron James in the studio? He's listening to the alien music. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When I, look, this is the shoe. <laughs> when I look at this, all that's going on in my head right now is around the world, around <laughs> Around the world, Amazing around song. the world. Amazing Darth song. Hunk were in there. Wow. Wow. That song came out. Did you see a face? No, no. You don't understand. That studio session. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uni. I don't think you need to be high. I no, feel that seriously. No, no, yeah, they were all high. Like, they were all on LSD. They don't need like, to. They, they, they were on acid. They were on acid they for sure. They were on hard acid. Erosion. Serious erosion. Serious erosion. Don't do drugs, guys. Yeah, do not do drugs. Kids don't do drugs. No, everyone don't do drugs. Everybody. Okay. Drugs are very, very bad. You got a fake ID though. All right. Anyway, new school, innit? Thoughts on the trainer. Do you think that, or whatever this is, do you think that this trainer will stand the test of time or are we going to look at it like a fad? I No. I no. think we'll definitely stand the test of time. Yeah. I feel like, you know, time is changing. Like, you know, sometimes when you look back at training, you're like, what the hell were we no. doing? No, no, no. Like I, British Knights. Okay, for BK is still BK's, okay? No, no. <laughs> but you, you can see the transition. Like BK is one of those brands that just took the the market space just for that period. Yeah, yeah that period. It. And then it disappeared. Um, good. Um, <laughs> in regards to this, you see the way we're transitioning. Like electric cars, all of that type of stuff. This is going to be well, the new shoe. I think I think cause, um, comfortability is now the biggest thing. And I don't think that's ever going to change. I don't yeah. think we're ever going to go back to a time yeah, where you're like, I want style, to be though. uncomfortable. Mm, 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 mm. It's like, because this fits the fits the, um, the bill. The, the brief. bill. There you go, the brief. Mm. I think it's just perfect, really. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. Okay. I mean, it. no one will ever say no to comfort, but maybe we should say yes to style. I don't know. There's a lot of style that's <laughs> on the stand. All right. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people are talking about these. Okay. Like, a lot of people are talking about them because they're Yeezys. <laughs> if they I'm weren't Yeezys, I'm I lie. promise this you, no one would be wearing this. I think it's a real conversation style. No, I think it's Because niggas wear, no, is, people is. have been making weird trainers for time. Mason Margiela have been making mm. odd shoes for years. But it works, though. Do you know what this is? But it works, though. This is basically the Yeezy 500. Yeah, the bottom. Yeah. 700, sorry. Not yeah. 500. Is it, is no, 700. It's 500. Uh-uh. No, that's the bottom of the 700. No. Yeah, but it looks like... It looks like the, the 500. Because you know how it bubbles out on the sides. The 500 looks like um, mm. freeze, a freezer. Mm. Different soul. Anyway, mm. I just think the way it's just so flimsy and 3D printed, you're actually insulting me. Like, that's how I feel. But I hear that. I hear that. But when... They're comfortability, obviously comfortable. Yeah. Comfortability you know, beats, beats everything. you know what the margin is on this shoe? This shoe costs two pence to make. Less Which than that, maybe. This guy... This nah, is, is half, half a cent. Half a cent. <laughs> <laughs> two cents on a dollar. On a dollar. Because <laughs> there is no, like... There's no... There's, there's no, no, like, insole. There's this no is second just, material. That's this it. This is all But rubber. isn't that... That's the most amazing thing about it is that there's nothing else to it. No, and it's so comfortable. Look how they got you. I so, it's Look so, how they got no, you. It's so it's comfortable. It's actually so minimalist that it doesn't need anything else other than that 3D printer and you're good to go. More life to you, man. I'm glad uh, you enjoy 100%. it. Watch when you start getting to a point where everyone has a 3D printer and they have to start printing shoes. You'll see. I uh, need to go out. I need to print some Air Jordan 1s. Hmm, how about Nike that? will come no. knocking on your door like the FBI. <laughs> you know that meme of Google what do you knocking into your, knocking your door, gang bang, bang <laughs> down the ceiling. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of tables, trainers, trainers, tables. Watch out! Brilliant. All right, so we're moving swiftly on to the news. As you know, we come with what's going on within the sneaker industry, the fashion industry, and what's popping with music. Yes, so. First thing is Sneakers Day. Sneakers Day ha! was last week. Ha! Sneakers Day, Meekers Day. <laughs> Sneakers Day, Meekers Day. <laughs> Sneakers Day was last week. It was last week. And sn- do you know what? Let me be real. I was upset that there weren't no trainers I could get on Sneakers Day. You heard that too. Yeah. Like milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I tried, milk. I tried to go. The, I, I, glug, glug, I was, glug on a mic. I, <laughs> I, I was upset <laughs> yeah. that I couldn't get any trainers for Sneakers Day. Mm. We are all itching for some Jordan 4 off whites. Yeah, we needed some research. Tom Sachs. Let's, let's put it this way. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not finished yet. Go on, go yeah? on. And then what we had was some interviews. Some goddamn cheetah no, girls. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to lie. I like what they did. What's what did they do? In regards to like having like they they're appealing to the younger generation. Which In what way? About? So did you watch the bit when, um, when they play Central Mrs. C. M- Mrs. Banks? Not Mrs. Central she's married now. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> she's married. <laughs> you can see how old I am. She's Congrats on the now. union. So <laughs> Miss Banks and Central, Central C. C. Yeah. Did you see the performance? No, no, no. Okay, so I I was looking at it. I was like, okay, it's not for me. But I know who is going to appeal to. What was the creative direction of this whole day? I, I'm so confused. No, no. I don't I, know. I, the cheetah print to the to okay. the okay. and the logo. Look, look at look at it this way. Yeah. Okay, in regards to the cheetah print trainers, 
<laughs> that was all a pack of ass. Yeah. When they even told me I had exclusive access, I was like, you guys are kidding me. <laughs> Bam, they did kidding. exclusive access and they made it like free to everyone. Like, no one bought yeah. it. So They're like, oh, well, no one wants it. Here you all go. They didn't give me exclusive access. <laughs> really? Oh, serious? Oh, sorry. sorry wow. to you. But <laughs> you didn't want it anyway. that was my first exclusive access and that's what they wanted to give me. Not even a Tom Sack. Anyway. <laughs> Let so, the Tom Sack go. <laughs> please. So, when I saw the interviews with Miss Banks and Central C, yeah. I was like, okay, I see what they're trying to do here. I don't. They're trying to mix music. They're trying to... It's, it's just no, not for it. the sneakers. They're trying to intertwine everything. These are people... Okay, let's look at Central C. Central C is actually someone that is actually known for his trainer game as well. Until recently. That's very recent. Because yeah. the yeah. guy's relatively new. No, I, I hear that. Yeah, it's not an argument. It's not an argument. It's not an argument. I'm not, okay, I'm not cool. disagreeing. I'm saying yeah. it's recent. So he's like, known yeah. for his sneaker collection yeah, and yeah, him yeah. being into trainers. Yeah. So it only makes sense to bring him in. Okay. Miss Banks, I'm not too sure, but she was there. She sang a song. I was like, woo, woo. Yeah. But Look, I see what they're trying to do. Re, you know what Sneakers Day is about. Nike know what Sneakers Day is about. Yeah. Everyone that was sitting on that app knows what Sneakers Day is about. Yeah, but yeah, for yeah. some reason, Nike forgot what you Sneakers move, Day is about. Need, I would I, say you need to move with the time. I no. think I think it's fine for them to move with the times. I don't mind that they had Central C. I actually quite like the Jenga game. That's kind yeah, of fun. Interesting. You know, yeah, that's good. In between all of that, where is the restock? <laughs> is that, I don't understand. Like, I you know, you know what people yeah. came here for, all right? And it's fine Like if you want to act like, you know, um, it's very clear that they become all about recent trainers mm. and they wanted to branch out and do something yeah. else. That's fine. Like, that's actually fine. But if you know that trainers is a big part of, you know, what people come here for, sneakers day, you know it's about exactly. stocks, you know it's about shock drops. Don't just give me the lightning falls out like you did something. The thing is, yeah, even me. then, yeah, even then, I feel like they probably read tweets, yeah, but like, look, people are getting they pissed like, off and they scrambled because who the heck was expecting lightning falls? No, no I mean, no, they, I don't think anyone knew there was a release date. The no. release date is now the end of this month, but... It was like you you gave us a shoe for no instead of giving us a shoe. What? And well, what about the restocks? The, we don't want new shoes. So well, what about the restocks? I saw a tweet, yeah, and I feel like Nike have been doing a lot of restocks recently. You remember that one day yeah, in Ranby, they were Bear just dropping dunks. mockers and yeah, dunks and all that kind of stuff? They probably had no reserves. Yeah. Had yeah. no more reserves and they were like, you know what? Yeah, there's nothing we can give That's you guys bullshit. right now. That's bullshit. They've got Hyper Royals. What? You think? I know <laughs> they do. They win too many. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what's so mad? Yeezy did a better sneakers day than, than sneakers. Yeezy's day was sensational really and truly. Day, they said here take the shoe yeah. they one said of, you got take me as I am one yeah, of my yeah. Yeah, that, like that is the, <laughs> yeah that is that is what you want from a, from a day from a brand that promises mm. sneakers that's exactly. what you want exactly. exclusive access throughout the day drops throughout, throughout the, day, the day drops throughout the day the outcome, yeah, man. Man. they even brought a new trainer too which was ass which but one? you know the glow in the dark shoe it was the 700 V3 no terrible ass yeah. shoe but, but it's wow, there wow. Yeah. yeah at least they were awake them was well. I mean, people made money off Yeezy, off Yeezy then. People were expecting to make money on sneakers day. But, but I think that's know. the problem. I think Nike sensed that it was it was going to be like... A reselling a yeah. fest, yeah. Yeah, everyone just knows you're just here for... Not like they give a shit anyway. Exactly. I mean, but, of but they were like, let's try and do something different. Yeah, mm. nah, you know I mean? Didn't work. But I don't think it's... Do you think they will ever go back to the original sneakers day? We never When know. people are running around on the streets. I, you never know. I, I was hoping for that this year. I was really hoping for that too. I think when everything dies down, if it does die down... Um, don't know. Then probably... We need to also understand with that comes a lot of hands and um, coronavirus. Godspeed. Oh, maybe that's why they didn't do of all of that. The yeah, Rona. but they didn't do all that last year either. And they still had no, but last on the year app. we was in a bloody pandemic. You're talking about restock, the they had they restocks on the app. The no, there was restocks app. on the app. Remember yeah, that? Remember yeah, when, yeah. when was it? We were yeah, in Shoreditch yeah. that day yeah, yeah, and, they, yeah. and, they, and they brought those terrible ass... Um, when was it? M- mids. Terrible ass mids, no, whatever mean, it was. Last August, of course. But it was that like okay. last August, yeah, and they had they brought out restocks on the app. Like That's what I was expecting. Yeah, I was scrolling yeah, down yeah. the timeline right. trying to figure out where You're the right. stuff oh, were. Okay, there was yeah, nothing yeah. stashed You're anywhere. Right. It is what it is. Anyway, moving so swiftly. Frank Ocean. Mr. Frank. Is bringing out a luxury line called Homer. Homer Simpson. And that is in collaboration with Prada. No, Homer is Homer. Okay, Homer, Homer. Yeah, Homer is Frank's. And okay. the jewelry line uh, is collab. No, Homer is Homer. Jewelry. And Homer is not just jewelry, it's a luxury line, so it's got scarves. Okay. Ooh, okay. Scarves, jewelry, nice. also, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then luxury. he's got his collaboration with, with Prada. Prada. Yeah. Okay, so whoever done this agenda read this shit wrong. It, it says, this is anyway. what it says here verbatim. Frank Ocean's luxury line Homer, collaboration with Prada, in brackets, jewelry. You could have actually read it like that. That would have been perfect. No, no, no. But you said Homer nah, 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 nah. has his own you line. Said. And then you said Frank Ocean has his own line with Prada. The text was That's correct. That's what you just said just now. That. The text was correct. Frank Ocean's luxury line, Homer, collaboration with Prada. Brackets, jewelry. The the text was correct, my friend. Anyway. Concentration. Concentration. Whoa. That's what he <laughs> No, no, no. What's I, your thoughts? I, no, no. I, 
Anyway, I'm not gonna argue about what's it. What's your thoughts? What's my thoughts about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I saw the teal um, uh, jacket that he's doing with Prada. That was beautiful. Have they already shown pictures yes, of stuff? Have. That's coming up. Yes, they have. I'm it shows puzzled. you guys another. Oh, now. No, no, no. I'm puzzled shit. because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm puzzled because um, Frank Ocean's collabing on a jewelry line. Yeah. So what's this what's clothing about? All right, I'm about to show you now. I didn't know that they had clothing and all that kind of stuff. I didn't even know they had brought pictures okay. yet. Okay. So you he's you... just not wearing a Prada jacket. No, he wasn't wearing just a Prada jacket. To honest, I like the fact that he's branching to something new, yeah. But would you guys have ever put Frank Ocean in That's the box that, of right. probably like fashion, Sorry. jewelry, and all that kind of stuff? Would I have put him there before? Yeah. Uh, no, because he was never like visible. In he any he way, doesn't do anything. Before. Yeah, but he obviously does. Like, and the thing is, to be fair, like in the in the you know the small times that we've seen him. Mm. So obviously, the last time we saw him was Met Gala when he was wearing Prada, that big. Prada That's jacket. true. Yeah, yeah. Um, but before then. Um, like in some of his like album covers and that you see him wearing like nice things like can't remember what album not album it was a single the single cover he was wearing um these Gucci aces that were banging I well. think the song was before Bikes. you both Bikin. before Bikin. you um, both continue so home my ex um, Prada is a full circle moment for Frank mm-hmm. Ocean mm-hmm. and it is bags jacket collaboration bags and jackets no, no yes, jewelry and that's the jacket wait go down that's cute no jewelry at all. Interesting. Yeah, there is jewelry. Okay, is cool. Jewelry. In addition to the luxury jewelry pieces. So, so once again, this just goes so to show it's, you it's that. So it's a proper line. It just goes to show so that, that people do a lot there. of stuff in the background because Frank Ocean doesn't show any There's of this. There's the back. Oh, he doesn't show any interest in this that online cool. it, or have any online presence. So it's like when you see something like this, it's like, oh, wow, Like where does this even come from? But, I would wear this for But shorts. I think it's nice. Goodness but I think, um, I think that, that one thing nice. that like, like, I like... It's a normal Prada jacket, really. Sorry, Casey. Are you? One thing that I think... No, continue. <laughs> What's going on? Like, I'm showing him stuff. One one thing that I like about Frank Ocean is that it's proof that just because you're not online doesn't mean that you're not moving. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that we have True. this thing in our minds of like, well, we can't see it online. Like, then you're not show doing us anything. Or show us or it's not there. Like, it's, that's not, not how it's, life works. it's not about show us or it's not there, but it's just like when someone randomly comes out with something and it's like, I'm doing this now, it's like, how are we supposed to trust? We don't even know. How are we supposed you- to trust yeah, it? Like, yeah, is yeah. this really legitly something that you really want to do? Or is this an offer that they just came to you? It's like, oh yeah, let's just do something. You know what I mean? But the fact that he's got his Homer brand and he's collaborating with, with Prada, Prada, it does make, it just makes a lot more sense. Yeah. I think once, I didn't know that he had a brand called Homer. Mm. This is, all, this is, it's, it's, new, it's new, it's new. And secondly, it's, it's clear to see that, look, just because it's not on social media does not mean I'm not doing shit. Yeah, like it does, right. I think the one thing about social media is if you're not showing this on social media, it means you're not doing nothing. Mm. That's what we're, that's the type of time we're mm. on right now. Mm. Like this guy, like he might be doing bits in the background that he you is, guys don't, yeah. you might be collaborating with people, producing all of that type of stuff. No, I hear that. And because he's not releasing music or you're not seeing him like out there, out mm. there, everyone feels like, okay, this guy, like, no, I, I, to- I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. But it's more of the fact that like, if you haven't shown some sort of like interest in this thing, like imagine you just come out of nowhere like, okay, cool. I was a singer once before, yeah. but now I want to do, um, uh, I don't know, I want to start building houses, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You haven't shown that any interest in yeah, you never yeah, talked yeah. about it. I know you could have been doing stuff in yeah. the background, by all means. It's yeah, like but if LeBron James tried to come out with a candle line. Yeah, like, it's like, but- where is this coming from? But it's like, can you trust that as much as someone just saying, okay, coming out, just because of base of their celebrity-ism, yeah. Yeah. can I just trust this thing and say, oh yeah, it's going to be great. If you get what I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. But the thing is with him, like I said, it wasn't loud in the sense that, okay, for example, the Met Gala, he was wearing Prada. We've seen him wear Prada on multiple occasions. So it's like... So that just proves that he's exactly, going to yeah, he that he could, that he could buy close. Not that you can trust that. <laughs> we're, we're both saying two separate things yeah. and we're agreeing with both in that you're saying we can't trust the quality behind the brand just because it's Frank Ocean yeah, coming exactly. up the line, mm. especially when we haven't seen that he's done anything like that before. And you're saying that fashion is something that we've seen him involve himself in mm. and just because he's doing it offline doesn't mean that it's not valid. Yeah. yeah. I That's hear it. it. I hear it. Pretty much. Okay. We we all agree. Yes, yeah, sir. We Should we agree. move on? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Next thing on the list. <laughs> just got lost for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing on the list. Yes. Okay, cool. So we had a very eventful weekend. We did. We really did. Mm. Me and Toby went to Bowl and Ball. Yes. Bowl and Ball. Shout out to the. Okay. Yeah, shout, shout out to Josh Essex. Essex. Shout out to Josh Essex. Shout out to well done on a great, great event. Wow. If any of you have not been to Bowl and Ball, mm. you missed on this Bowl and Ball because this one was balling. This, this one was This one was a madness. Yeah. yeah? yeah. I mean, this con- song con- was great vibes. For context, yeah. it was at Lakeside Pot Shack. Shout out um, to Pot Shack. Shout out to Pot Shack. Um, 
I feel like it was amazing because one, it was in Essex. We come from Essex, right? Yes, local. Local. No one really does events in our area. It's not something that happens. And we and truly, yeah, when I heard about this event, especially being in our area, I wasn't expecting people to come out. Right. Yo, people showed out. Really? People really came out in batches. Yeah. It was, it was a mass event. Definitely. DJ was popping. Vibes were popping. Drinks were flowing. You know, Bowling Ball was a serious vibe and I, I really hope they do some more. In I'm the, glad. In the I kind of wish, um, I don't wish I went over what I went to, but... Where did you I, go, Casey? Oh, <laughs> I went a couple of places. But I'm glad that you guys enjoyed. And I like the fact that people are doing events in Essex because the thing is, um, Essex has a very strong black community. Mm. There's, there's a lot of black people in yeah. Essex. Mm. So it's good that people are starting to like tap into that location, even though it is outside of London. Mm. Um, Recess have got an event in Essex oh, serious? next week. Or this week, okay, sometime, yeah. So I saw that I was like, yeah, no, it's nice because bear of you might live there, so Bruce. you know you might as well go out and enjoy. Yeah. it. Do you know what bear of us live there? But I don't think it's enough what for you it. Mean? You saw it at Bowling Ball? No, but the people that went to Bowling Ball are from London. Are from London? Yeah, but it doesn't but so, matter. It it's, just goes to show that people are willing to come in. Very true. People are willing to Very come in. Very true. People are willing to come in, but also there's a lot of people that live, even if it's not like Essex, surrounding areas. Close. Chadwell, Heath, yeah, Dagenham, exactly. and those places. That's only there's, 20, 30 minutes away. There's black it, people in Chelmsford. Yeah. Right now. I hear it, I hear it. Yeah, hear it. yeah, yeah. I hear it. Vibes. As for me, um, I went to two separate places. Mm. I started my day at Metro Fest. How was it, Casey? <laughs> How was it? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Anybody that went to Metrofest knows how Metrofest was. And anyone that was on Twitter or on social media during the weekend, they know how Metrofest was. In short, it was a scam. Wow. It was Fire <laughs> Festival Part 2. Wow. Uh, it was Gosh! awful. It was so bad. What was so bad about it? Well, Toby, I'll tell you. So <laughs> we got to the park. It was Trent Park, which is uh, in north somewhere, like Cockfoster side. Okay. Wow. And yeah, up what north. What the heck? Yeah, up north on the A406. That might as well oh, be Hertfordshire. We are in Hertfordshire. <laughs> it's far out. Anyway, so we get there and the place is muddy as hell. Obviously, it was raining on the day, mm. whatever. Muddy, like no grass. There's no grass in sight. You can't oh, you see any grass. That park is finished, by the way. Wow. They've got some serious <laughs> restoration to do. That park is done out, yeah? So cool. Anyway, we're trudging through the mud and um, it's raining. It's not raining. It's raining. It's not raining. But vibes. Vibe can't done in it. That's mm. what we're saying in our minds. All right. Um, okay. We get to the park. They are a cashless, cardless system. How it works is they'll give you a wristband. You need to top up the wristband. That's how you spend your money how, on the wristband. How do you top up from your you phone? You top up, yeah, yeah, on an app. Oh, okay. It sounds efficient and smart yeah. if the wristband works when you got to the vendors. Oh, no. So, like, it would be glitching there. They would take money. So, let's say you put £15 on the thing. It would take, like, I don't know, £3 as fees. And then when you get there to order, you're like, oh, okay, a drink is um, seven fifty. I want two of them, £15. They'll be like, you don't have enough. Because oh, they're taking the fees. Taking anyway, the fees. whatever. Cool, no problem. Anyway, no problem. Don't right. even worry about that one. Let's say we're drunk and we're trying to go to the party and enjoy it. They had different tents, so very similar to like Wireless or any other festival. Okay. Yeah. So DLT had a tent. Um, I was there for a, a short bit. That was fine. Um, Raindrop had a set. A couple other people had a set. Whatever, just whatever in it. No mm. one cares. Mm. Main stage. That's where the party is. Maya is supposed to come on at 4.30. Yeah. I got there at 5.30. She hadn't arrived. No wow. problem. Fat Man Scoop was supposed to be emceeing throughout the event. He didn't come on until 7.30 p.m. No wow. problem. So then we're at the main stage. Mud, rain, all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm with my girls. having a great time with ourselves. And then the DJ comes on and he's like, I'm going to bring out a brilliant artist. Maya's name is on the back of the screen. We're getting gas. My love is like, whoa, I'm getting ready to, do you know what I mean? Give yeah. it the... They bring on this other light-skinned woman. She comes on there singing Kiss It Better, the Rihanna song. What? In so it's like, not even your song. It's not, but she even slowed it down. How can you slow down a slow jam? Kiss it, kiss it better. But I said, what the hell <laughs> is happening here? Wait, did you not identify who the person was? I don't know who she is. You know, probably an upcoming singer or something, yeah? No. She sings the song. It's shit. She goes again for another <laughs> song, an original song that we don't know the words to. If you don't back yourself <laughs> at this point, it's like six o'clock, right? Wow. Maya should have been on. Bobby Valentino should have been on. John B should have been on. And the thing finishes at nine. So we're like, it's six o'clock now. None of the artists have turned up. When are they going to start coming around? Half wow. six. I said, fuck this. Leaving the main stage, I went to DLT <laughs> for a bit. Listened to Essence about seven times. Oh, no. That song's finished. But did they still bag each time? 
I sang it each time. Yeah, exactly, man. I sang it each time, but I promise someone said they're gonna finish that song. Someone said it's on its way to becoming Joanna. Oh, and you start hearing you hearing JD Sports now. Yeah, no, I can't because I hear it every literally. So anyway, after that point, it had reached seven o'clock, and I'm getting ready to go to motive number two i'm like I'm, i can't i can't stay mm. i can't so i left at around 7 15 ish okay around that time and um, my girl stayed and fat man scoop came on at eight o'clock fat joe the headliner who's supposed to come on last comes on at like 8 30 that guy in his tattooed beard wow he can sorry. stay there and then bobby valentino comes on for six minutes and then the promoters cut him short because it's home time and, they left. and i also forgot to mention the thing started at 11 30 and um, one of my colleagues actually went. Uh, she got there at eleven twenty-five, and they were like, "No, we're not ready yet. Doors open at twelve thirty. She had to stand outside in the rain for an hour." No. Do you Metro know what? Yeah? Metro Fest should not even try to do a You're fest again. You're going to pay for Don't your fucking anyone. crimes. <laughs> nah, they're, they're not going to pay. They're... No, but my friend even messaged them and was like, "I want my money back." And they yeah. were like, "Right, what you've said you experienced doesn't warrant a refund, but we'll give you a discount code for our next event." Ha! It's your Don't mom. call me anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't gonna... call me anywhere. No. Anyway, well. anyway, moving swiftly. I just want to say, part two, I, my motive number two was no signal. Shout out to you. Oh, yeah. Shout out no sorry. Signal. Shout out no sorry. signal for it's sure. Right. It's because no, you spent right. so long on Metro I Fest. Did. It was, it, that, it was you, that much no, of a no, shamble. No, no, absolutely. There's nothing to say about no signal. Black radio is the best thing that could have ever it's happened amazing, to someone like me. Yeah. And I will support them every day. Every Hold day. tight. No signal. Shout out to no signal. Yeah, man. Anyway, moving swiftly. Frank Ocean has stated he is bringing that album. It is finished. Wow. I cried wow when i heard the news because he's going to be headlining coachella and my thing was like if you're going to headline coachella you you've got new. to come with new music yeah, you can't okay. just come there singing the same song i thought you going to tell me i'm going to try and go coachella because we know how much us from the uk trying I'm to go to coachella. what are you talking about That's i'm trying 10, do you know how much 10, do you know 20? how expensive it is to go 20? to coachella I know, I know. are you gonna get you tent? behave yourself the little the little, the little living tents 50 grand 100 grand no nah, i'm not doing that 150 grand don't worry i'm gonna start saving up from now 200k saving my pennies <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly, Aaliyah money. and Chris Brown, rest her soul. Thank mm. you, Jesus. Chris Brown. Chris Brown, yeah. Yeah, Chris Brown. Yes, Together. They are. Yeah. Yes. A joint, joint one. Joint yes. I heard it wasn't I heard it wasn't joint. I heard that it's gonna be an album that's gonna feature Future, Drake. I thought I heard a joint album. No, unless anyway, else. Aaliyah, no, no. Aaliyah's doing something. Why, man? Leave it. Like, God rest his soul. Like, this is what I it. don't like because I wanted to talk to you about this. Yeah. Mm. Firstly, you bring Tupac as a hologram. Yeah. Get this nigga rapping never, from the dead. I'll never forget that. that <laughs> when they did that, that was I was like, you do not want this guy to rest. This bad. guy already went through a battle to try to survive. The guy died. Yes. <laughs> wow. Now you bring him back as a hologram. He's shaking in his grave. <laughs> now, Aaliyah. That's if he's there. Yeah. If that's if he's there because I heard he's in Hawaii. I heard he's he in could Cuba. Be, could anyway, be, could be anyway, <laughs> where he <laughs> may be. be in South now, Aaliyah, yeah. God rest her soul, one of the best female singers, yeah? One of the best. If she was still alive, Lord have me. No, what are you trying to tell me? She wouldn't be making peas right now if she was still alive. Did you say she was the best female singer? One I said one of. One, one, of, one, one of, of the best female singers. Yes. She had a good voice. You don't one think of so? the best. She had a great voice. One of the best. We ain't gonna go through one this. Of right now. One of the best. One of the best. It doesn't mean she's the best. One of the best. Maybe we could discuss it to battle it out. Okay, we could do this. But I don't know why my eyes if are tearing. Don't bring up Aaliyah again in that conversation. No, I'll bring Aaliyah. <laughs> okay, all right. So, okay, wait. Out of who's. Nah, we can't no, do that now. Yeah, anyway, time. Whitney, Mariah. We ain't got Aretha. time. I didn't, no, no. <laughs> one, of they're, they're, one, of the, one of the best. One of the best. One of the best. Yeah, one ah. of. One of. No, there's. It could be one of 10, one of 20, Finish one of 30. Statement. Look here. Anyway, <laughs> Aaliyah. She Coming died in a, a plane out. crash, didn't it? Okay. Yep, she yep. died in a plane crash. Mm. And you herself. guys now want to bring out her voice. You guys are bad people. I yeah, think, so this you're, is you're, is, you're right? mixing on the on 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 the on the on the on you're actually talking on the <laughs> orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> and then, because her uncle's finally got himself together and sorted out the label mm. and all the situations that happened around that, he's now saying, "All right, we're going to bring because obviously they're bringing back the original albums onto all streaming services okay. in the next couple of like weeks or so." I feel they've fully done it because I've got a few. I've already seen. Yeah, one so yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I think one in a million should already be out yeah. right now, and then the other ones mm. are coming soon. I wonder what they're going to do with AJ Ain't Nothing But A Number because R. Kelly's all over that. Oh, They're still going to bring him out. What, what do you mean? They're still going to bring Kelly him out. No, because Spot, cause I think Spotify took R. Kelly, R. Kelly off. I really? Think. I think. They did to like at the beginning. Anyway, we'll see. But um, yeah, I feel like the uncle's basically definitely saying, right, okay, let's get that this sorted is, this, there. This is time. Let's bring out the posthumous album as well. Uh, a little bit kicker. 
what? I don't. I don't. So, I'm not so, looking so you can it. slip back. No. I'm not looking forward to it. No. I'm not looking. I, I, mean, I think you you need to leave certain things. Leave know, the dead with the dead. It's not even that. It's. Not, I feel like once once um someone for me personally in terms of your music is no longer Dies. relevant. It's mm. like no, it's, don't say relevant. Use no, the word dead. No, no, no it's, it's not, not about dead being dead because, because for example, when Pop Smoke, exactly when his album came out, the first one, yeah, yeah. I wasn't mad about that one. The second one, Overkill. But even do you know, do you know the reason why that's different? Because he was already working on it before he died. So that, it what, made sense to release it. That, I'm talking about yeah. releasing an, another body of work that this person did not do, did not contribute to. Mm. The only thing well, that she he, obviously did if her voice is on it. No, but the only no, do you know they're doing it on the thing? It's not it's not what her you mean voice. On the thing? They're they're like they're, they're creating, creating the voice. voice. Are you sure? Yeah, I believe they're creating the voice. Oh, yeah, Are you I sure? believe. <laughs> Are you sure it's not just like lost files. Yeah, I believe. Lost files. Like unreleased songs. She's got bare unreleased songs. Yeah, but I definitely believe yeah. they're creating her voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good example, good example. But the, I wait, believe wait, it. No, no, I okay, good example, believe it. good example. The God. song with her and Chris Brown, the song that they did. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't a lost file. Yeah, it know. was. They created a voice. That no, snippet, they didn't. That snippet of that snippet what's, a lost, what's a lost file. Really? Yeah. Michael. Shit. Wow. Anyway, after all that nattering, I can't yeah. believe no, it. No, seriously. Yes. But even then, what They're I tried, like what I tried to songs. say, like, for example, Ashanti has announced that she's going to be bringing out an album too. Why? That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, like, I was no, just about to say, she's dead. What, no, no, like, what's no, your, what's your music like, One is, once you're not gone. relevant, like, yeah, once you're not relevant. Like, I can't bless, understand no, bless you Ashanti though, because yeah, she's still alive. Yeah, allow her. You know, John, you know, did you see the message that saying John B still releasing music? But I don't know why. It's like people that are so irrelevant. It's like, I'm not going to lie, you're no longer relevant. So it's like, it's like, John B, John B's a great artist though. He's, my, he no, my, no, my, my thing is that's not fair because if Keith Sweat came out with a song today, I might just no. Do you know the reason? Why? No, no, because that guy looks crusty. No, no, he he looks good and he's like no, sixty something. He looks crusty. He's sixty something. Uh, Casey, and he's sixty. This what guy, what do you want him to look like? Crusty. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what's so mad? Because there's people that are sixty and they look good. Wow. Nah, he look good for 60. What the heck? He this look guy looks like 60. a prune. Nah, he's what do you mean? What's that thing that dad eats? <laughs> what? No, 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 what no, dates. No. Dates. dates. He look like, <laughs> like a date. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Don't speak yet because you haven't turned wow. 60. You don't look like he's when you're 60. Yeah. You do you know, I, no, no, I know. Please. I know. Looking at my daddy. I know. Looking at my mommy. I'm going to look good at 60. Listen, what we're going to do is we're going to catch up on episode 2035, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and see what you look like. Who gets the last laugh? Can we move on to our main yeah. Anyway, yeah. so moving swiftly, as we said, we're trainers, tables, tables, tables trainers. trainers. Mm. We said we are focusing on the new school versus the old school. Mm -hmm. So we've got a whole bunch of sections that we're going to talk about, or should I say categories that we're going to talk about, mm -hmm. and we're going to kind of debate on which one's better, new school or the old school. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving swiftly, mm. as we were talking about music, so which one's better, old school music or new school music? Can I, we just stipulate what? Is counted as old school music. Uh, oh, can we say that old school music is relax, is eighties and nineties? Yeah, that's versus fair. like two thousands onwards. Noughties, yeah. Yeah, so two thousand onwards is new school. Yeah. Behind that, old school. Eighties and nineties. That's fair. Are we including the seventies? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think we could. I mean, we don't need anything to go that before far. the millennial. So no, eighties and nineties is twenty years, right? Yeah. So noughties to now is twenty years. So let's just keep it even. Alright, cool. Eighties to the noughties and noughties to the whatever. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, based on that, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It's a hard one. It's the it's the old school. You know Ooh. what? Yeah. It's old school. You know what? Me. Yeah. I'm 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 gonna say old school for sure because old school can never die. Yeah. <laughs> it can man. never die. It can never die. However. The new school does have a strong argument. Oh. And really truly, yeah, I have to say for the Gen Z people, because that's all they know. Like, they don't know the old school. But I'll tell you, old school has a different feeling. It's got its time, it's got its place, and that's pretty much every single damn time. Yeah, for me, because I was going to come with the rebuttal. I was going to come and say new school, but I have to go with old school. And the reason why I'm going up with old school is because a large majority of the music that is used in new school, they all sample old school music. Well, how else? Like, what else am I supposed to sample? Yeah, exactly. No, no, That's not fair. No, do you know the reason? Do you know the reason why? No, it's one of my reasons, and the reason why I'm saying that it, it's a big reason is mm -hmm. because you're acting as if people still can't be creative now. I hear that, but even those songs that were created in the '70s sampled Sample songs from the '60s. Yeah, exactly. But we. I was gonna say if you go into the sample, generator, Sorry, it will tell that, yeah. me that it was sampled from somewhere else. But it yeah, wasn't. everything is like everything. Um, 
Oh. Everything collects um, inspiration. From collects somewhere. Yeah, from somewhere. from somewhere. Like everyone gets inspired by somewhere. And so the songs in the 80s were definitely influenced by songs in the 70s. Granted, there is some creativity there. Like songs like Computer Love couldn't have been created back a day. Yeah. So that's fair. However, I feel like, I don't think sampling should be the reason. I said it's one. One of my I don't ones. think it should be any of the reasons, in my opinion. I hear it, though. Okay. I hear it. I do hear it. However, I feel like um, old school music, I think it's, oh, I think it's hard. Oh, it's hard. I can't. Thing is, yeah, old, school, old school music just has a place in my heart. Like, I can yeah. understand. New school music for me yeah, is purely, purely vibes. Like, I don't care about the lyrics. I don't care about anything else. Yeah. It's purely vibes. And yeah. really and truly, it's really the producer that makes the work. Yeah. But old school music, the artist. If without the artist, the song is no longer the song. Yeah. Look, when there was... The beat say- goes on, beat goes when on. When they were beat saying, yeah, who was, <laughs> what, what documentary was it that we heard that these people did one take for their songs. I can't remember. I think it, they, it was it was some sort of Netflix documentary. They didn't have... Like, they, they didn't, yes. It same, was same. like, they'll have the band, they'll have the artist, and because obviously it's made on it's made on the CD, right? It's on yeah. Yeah. So you can't really have multiple copies. So it's like, if you don't bang it out first time, this time, yeah, it's, it's not working. Yeah, it's long. So, so st- stuff like that, like, the, I'm not saying that the eyes of this generation are not authentic. Yes, they are authentic. Mm. But there's something about the beats and what I'm hearing when those songs come on. Mm. Even, even... Wait... Missy Elliott, what that's that's two thousands, isn't that's it? 2000, yeah. That's two thousands. That's new school. Damn, ah, that's is why it's hard though. Damn, you got yeah. Missy Elliott, because you got Usher, you, Missy Elliott, Usher. You got late Mariah, late Mariah. Yeah. You, got, I'm not gonna say we have to put Soldier Boy. Yeah, yeah. Soldier, Soldier Boy, Boy was he there? You have to, you have to put that in there. We. But I'm, uh, I'm not because young thug of that T Pain and that fuck, no, uh, Kanye West, Kanye bro. Wizzy West. Mm. <sighs> Would you put Jay Z in there too? Because yes, of course. Essentially, he kind of falls into that time. It's, he's it's he's a, he's in a bit of both. He's in both. But his he best was, his he best around. his best stuff was the new school, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. His yeah. best the stuff blueprint. was post two thousand. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I I'm not really a fan of any of his albums, but yeah, like, yeah. as far as singles go, I like um, the ones in Pharrell and that. That's all two thousands. Damn. Yeah. Thousands. Ah! Timberland and his reign. Obviously, some nineties, but two thousands. Oh and lord, that, mercy. you know. <laughs> It's not as simple as you think. It's not as simple. But the thing is, it's different you different feelings for different times. Like for me, when I think of old school music, I think of hall parties, mm. I think of my parents, I think of family, mm. I think of like vibes, like mature vibes. And those memories last. They last because obviously they're like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But with, with but when I think of new school stuff, that reminds me of school. That reminds me of my friends. That reminds me of like parties I attended. That's and true. that's the thing with songs in the eighties and the nineties. I was not at the club when the ooh, when those songs were in there, mm. prime prime. So I'm not going to enjoy it the same way mm. the people back a day will enjoy it. Yeah. So um, I think... Old school is more family and romance. Because you know, yeah. Nasty. Yeah. Whoa. Romance. <laughs> but new school is pure, purely purely vibes. Really. Yeah. Purely vibes. So I so, feel like okay, I've got so give, so give, give it to family and romance. So it's old school. Old school. Mm. And you're old school? Old school. Okay. Me. Old school. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's next? Next thing. Video Vixens. I'm video not, Vixens! I'm not really good at this because I don't remember no Video Vixens. The thing is, yeah, I don't remember the names. I don't names remember like the names. That. I only remember the ass. Oh. That's it. Fair enough. Let me tell you something. I, their yeah. face was their ass. Yeah. I didn't remember their face. Let me, let right. me tell you something. Yeah, the old school Video Vixens. 10 yeah. out of 10. 10, 10. Wow. <laughs> if I had a body like an old school Video wow. Vixen. It's not even about the body, their face. It was just like. Yeah, they looked great. They were, they were generally just stunning. In the not saying that the, the new school Video Vixens are ugly because you, 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 beautiful. You know, beautiful is the word, really, because it's all yes. I think the <laughs> thing is with new school video vixens is that the focus is definitely more on like derriere body, mm. and so like sometimes the body is not natural because. Mm. But that's what the man them want. Like yeah, yeah, guys yeah, want yeah, girls yeah. of huge big bums. booty, duty. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so obviously a lot of women that are video vixens and and have been in like recent videos, it's all fake bodies. Mm. That's the first thing. Yeah, and a lot of the women that have been included now, I feel like the makeup, like right now, women's makeup is. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Everyone has their preference. I know my preference. I prefer the natural look, and that's yeah. what the girls had back a day. Mm-hmm. And they just look naturally beautiful. Like yeah. you don't have to try too much. Your hips don't need to be. Giant. Yeah, like, that's true. Everything was natural. That's true. It's not like that now. The thing is, yeah, I'm even thinking, yeah, when we say old school video vixens, because I'm even still looking at early 2000s. Because Same. you remember Pharrell Williams? Uh, what's that song that he had? Fronting. Uh, oh, that last woman. My days. Beautiful. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. So well, but that saying, counts. That counts. Saying, is that new school or is that old school though? We said 80s to 90s. No, we can't do that. Yeah, we can't do that. There were no music videos back in the day. Yeah, exactly. And plus, all the girls were dancing wearing knee pads. So, yeah, when we say new school, let's do in the last 20 years. So, old school is noughties to 2010. Yeah. And 2010 to now. No, it's obviously the new school then. New school? No, I mean the old school. Old school. Old school. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, yeah. old school. Old school. Old school. Because new, new school, you said everything. New school, I'm not going to even talk about it because I, I'm not trying to catch a case. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, no judgment on the ladies. No, yeah, limbs are beautiful like, even why, I, I might just talk oh, a bit reckless. Feel? I don't All want right, to talk. Fair, 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 fair. I rather keep my mouth shum. Yeah. <laughs> not shum. I rather keep my mouth The old school okay. lyrics are just, they're just, they're just, Beautiful, really. I think new school is beautiful too. They're beautiful as I said. Beautiful Everybody beautiful ass. ass. Everybody beautiful ass. Do you know what? The old school is just like, wow. The new, the the new school <laughs> get it <laughs> Go the new school there's only certain that obviously have had their bums done and everything done yeah mm. but it still looks natural Good. yeah okay there's one specific person I'm trying to think about she goes with um she goes out of um, Ty Taylor Dreya Dreya yeah. Dreya she even though for a very long time I thought she didn't get her body done yeah, and until yeah, I was informed by Casey that she got her body done yeah. oh, I thought what? that was she very natural it. serious wow yeah. no well Whoever did it, yeah, the doctor, well spud him yeah. because he did it very well. <laughs> Everything <laughs> after that now. Not so much. Yeah. We give that to Jesus. Oh, All right, we give it to old school. Next thing. Fashion. So fashion can be from the 80s to the 2000s. Yeah. And then new school can be 2000s to now. All right. For me, definitely new school. New school. Yeah, hundred percent. New right. school. Thing yeah. is, yeah, with the with the eighties and nineties, yeah, <laughs> y'all were looking <laughs> funny. <laughs> y'all were looking <laughs> funny. <laughs> I'll, give you a, I'll give you a few cues. MC Hammer pants, um, Biggie Kugi sweatshirts. That was tr- that was dreadful. Um, no, dreadful. Kugi sweatshirts are dreadful. Let me relax. Not, let me know that. Relax. I'm sorry, it had its time, yeah, no, but no, it was dreadful. The way they nice. wore it, the it way they nice. wore it. Wasn't that great? It was because nice. Biggie was wearing that with some tap, tap dancing shoes. Biggie didn't have much of a choice though. But <laughs> that's, that's, that's different. <laughs> he was wearing that's it different. with some butters. Yeah, he didn't have much of a choice. Um, what else? Jeans. What else? We had um, what's that? What's it? Carl? Was it Carl Kanai? Carl Kanai? Carl Kanai? Yeah. Carl Kanai. What's that? Uh, that it's a brand. It was a brand. Yeah, it was a very. It's like it was like um, what is the what is that early? Uh, Kukai. Fubu. It's like Fubu. Oh yeah, Fubu. Fubu okay. man. Yeah, but it's like like nineties Fubu. Yeah, yeah. Good um, times. That I'm not gonna lie, Dapper Dan clothing is not, does not bang. Yeah, was shit. <laughs> it didn't bang. Dapper Dan's clothing looked like everyone made everyone look like Harry the Eighth. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, understand yeah. Dapper this. Dapper like, Dapper like, was it, shit. It was good for what it was, <laughs> but it was actually Dapper shit. Dapper Dan's clothes nah, was shit. It was bad. Right. Please, so I have Gucci could definitely... sleeves looking like Missy Elliott on the floor. <laughs> that was it. Bust around in the back. Bust now. Nah. A lot was going on. It nah. didn't bang. A so lot was going on. It has to, has to go. Fashion, yeah. fashion really took a turn after mm. 2000. Yeah, it definitely elevated. It took a huge turn. Yeah. But I liked it. Do you know what it is, yeah? The thing that I liked the most about, and maybe maybe people that lived through the 80s and the 90s, like yeah. as adults, mm. would feel the way I feel about new school. But I feel like every single trend that has come and gone. It's been so fast. It was no, it's fast, but I'm not talking about that. Like they were sick when they were around. They were sick. Low, right, that was the low rise jeans. Yeah, everything yeah, yeah, that's yeah, happened yeah. from the 2000s up until now. Everything that's come and gone. I can look back at some things and laugh, but most things I'm like that made so much sense. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it's already come back full circle. So when yeah. I think about like 2000s um, for women, juicy couture tracksuits, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so bitch, like mm-hmm. Gucci sandals, all of that stuff, low rise jeans, mm. crop tops. That's what we're seeing now. Like that's everyone's true. dressed like 2000s video vixens right now, yeah. looking mm. like early Victoria Beckham, all yeah. that stuff, jerk season. I loved it. Snap back, yeah, all feel, that. I, I feel loved like it. It's slightly different for guys though, because there's a lot of stuff that happened, yeah, when we were younger that I don't think can, can run now. If you shoot jeans laces. can't run now, double laces, yeah, boy it. jeans. Uh, Ralph Ren polos that can't run anymore. The Ralph, Ren, the Ralph Ren tracksuit with the Pradas can still that can't run. I was, the, I would the, bang Ra- that. the Ralph Ren tracksuit can run. The Pradas you know, no, I can run separately. I would wear. I will still to this day. I'll get feared. Yeah. Ralph Ren tracksuit. Watch me. Separately. Ralph, no, not separately. separately. Ralph Ren yeah, tracksuit. Ralph Ren tracksuit. The grey one with the blue horse Full with stop. a blue no wearing it together <laughs> with the blue Pradas. Oh, yeah, wait. watch me. I would Watch wear. I would jeans. wear the navy blue tracksuit with the yellow horse. I had that. That oh! was a sensational tracksuit. I had it. I didn't like it. It was track. always the grey and blue. Oh, navy. I loved it. It was perfect. All you guys there that wore the grey with the green horse, yeah. 
<laughs> they, nev- they can never find the top. You the can top never find it. You can ne- you can even only have top the bottoms on the top. Made. You can never find no, the both. top was never made. So no, no, I the had the top, the green horse top. I had the green top. So, so what, you can. What, so what do you guys think about new school fashion for men? Then new school fashion for men. I you're I always think, complaining. I think new school oh, fashion. There's men, a reason why. <laughs> I think trends have come and gone yeah. but it's never something where I feel like a trend can come back when it comes to fashion with men mm. I feel like there's timeless pieces for sure um, which are mostly from I'll say 2012 onwards so you're talking about Heidi Slimane um, YSL all yeah. well, that kind of stuff there's timeless pieces for sure but fashion for men yeah I feel like once it's gone it's very very hard yeah. to come back because I because remember very the time hard. that we went to religion shop and I told you about the jeans I couldn't wear that with you can't Pride wear the, the shiny and then I tuck jeans. in my Ralph Lauren um, no one asked you polo with a Gucci belt you, no one asked you can't yeah. wear you can't do that suit jeans you no, can't do that you anymore do that. it's not quite possible but, 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 <laughs> but the good parts about the new school of fashion I would say is the tailoring yes. recently in recent yeah, times yeah, yeah. the tailoring the mix of like textures the different mm-hmm, type of mm-hmm. shirts but it's the stuff. latter it's the latter that's making more sense like the old school between like, 2000 and 2010 yeah like 2000 I'm telling you there's a lot of stuff there yeah, that that was when, Nellyville no, times. No, yeah. but, welcome to Nellyville. But, w- but do you know what? Figure wearing shorts, but it's yeah. actually colots. What Casey said, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> the thing is, what Casey said, yeah, about when that season happened, yeah. it was It's sick. good for the time, yeah. Like, yeah. the true religion and the Pradas, I'm telling you, that time... But it can't come back again. Every person... problem. ...looked like they were a drug dealer. But, but when they were good... They, they were, were good. Yeah, they were great. They yeah. were so good. So that's what I'm saying. I think... I don't, I don't. I can't speak for the eighties and nineties because I wasn't living through yeah, it at the time. True. Nah, that's you true. lived but it through your parents. Damn, no, 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 they no, no, were no, no, not no, no, dressed every day. I didn't. I can't. I can't speak on it because yeah. I didn't live through it. Maybe if I was wearing those clothes at the time, I would have been like, "This is fresh." Yeah, exactly. Fresh. Oh, I hate but that, I, I can't. That. But I can't relate to that. But mm. I will say that when I look at the two thousands trends, even the worst ones mm. within the two thousands, I still don't think they were as bad as the bad trends in the eighties and the nineties. And for that reason alone, I feel like new school wins. I hear. All right, let me ask one. All right, cool. New school or old school in regards to parenting? <laughs> old, school old school being old school being super traditional, spare the rod, uh, spare the child or whatever the thing is. Um, the thing is, yeah, I think... Spare the rod, spoil the child. Let, 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 me, let me be careful what I'm going to say, yeah, because yeah. I feel like it's got to be old school, but with a little bit of the new school mentality. What are the parts you like about old school? I like the part... The part that I like about old school is... Um, trying to protect your child as much as possible when i say protect your child Mm -hmm. i mean like obviously trying to guide them based on the stuff that you know are generally wrong right and telling them look don't do this so don't sell drugs don't join bad gang that kind of stuff how do you see those things being enforced that is different to what a new school parent would do well the reason why i'll say it's different to being enforced because i feel like a lot of our generation has become very have accepted that kind of stuff as in that that's calm like i'm not gonna lie a lot of people are are not don't really frown upon drug dealers or 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 fraudsters anymore it's not really seen as something like oh my gosh that's tremendously terrible But isn't that us and not our parents but this is what i'm saying we're the the new school right i I know i know i know i know of a lot of parents that know their child is doing whatever they're doing mate and i get the thing is it's different it's, it's different but i un, i i understand it as well because the reason why the mother the, let me not say mother let me just let me not leave it there but the reason why the parent accepts it is because they know what they're going for and they know what the child is trying to do so that's why some parents just accept it or even but then not, some parents are like look i can't i can't really do I can't much deal my with child it. is my child is in it so mm. i can't really do much about him i don't know what to do sometimes maybe but I feel like back a day, it was a situation where it was like, don't do this because we know that this is going to go down the wrong path. Right. And I think, I think that's cool because me and Trudy, yeah, I don't care what next man are doing. If you want to do drugs, you want to do, if you want to do fraud, that's fine. That's cool with me. That's great. But I don't want that for my child because I know where it can lead to. Me and Trudy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, yeah. the discipline element of the, the old school of the old school yeah it needs to be never enforced. Yeah. you think so never but you what did you say i think it needs to be enforced never oh, let's hear it. The, let's reason, hear the reason why i'm saying it needs to be enforced is because i feel like a lot of parents in this day and age mm. they're like well, like it depends just, on the level though because they, i feel like people have actually gone through serious situations here from discipline from their parents right i i me personally i have not gone through that in terms of like serious yeah. discipline yeah. Beatings. Yeah. Beatings. No, okay, Beatings. So, so like that, that's what I was gonna say. My answer to Casey's question mm. was similar to you. I'm on the fence. It's a bit of both. Yeah. yeah. But in regards to the discipline, the dis- the discipline that my parents had to some of the discipline that some parents have now is is polar opposites. Mm. And I would prefer 
my parents to be proper discipline than to be not discipline and then the child's just moving why some kids so you think discipline, mommy yeah i like that you think <laughs> discipline controls the kid yeah, it, no it does, does it no no them? no there's no no there's different ways there, mm. there's the discipline that you beat the child to the child wheeze and is scared yeah or the discipline where you're like you're correcting the you're child being stern and you're that's like, it you're being stern there's nothing wrong with being does, stern to what does stern discipline look like okay for example like the child is doing this Oh, mommy, please. Back in the days, my dad would be like, Michael, stop that. Like, it would be like yeah, a firm stop. And my yeah. dad would look at me in the eyes and yeah. I'm like, shum. Yeah. There's this this discipline now where, mommy, mommy. And, and, and it's Michael, like, stop, stop, please. stop. And and the child is and still... That, that, that's kid. what I'm saying. <laughs> like, there was something that my parents had, yeah. Not, and I will say, it was that fear. Mm. But it wasn't a toxic fear. Mm. It was the fear that, oh... Uh, Mum's putting mum. Mum's telling me not to do yeah, this. Yeah, um, there's some now where it's like they're doing it and the child doesn't give mm. a hoot. Oh, shut up, mummy. That's it. <laughs> children are saying, not saying that children didn't say shut up back in the days, yeah. but I'm seeing children being the parent now. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I'm saying. So I, I, but the thing is that I, I love from this generation is that we've all gone through certain things. We've experienced what we've experienced from we've our parents, and, and something that I like from this new generation is. Helping your child discover who they are. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I want. For sure, not saying, nurturing them the, not, the proper way. Not nurturing saying, not way. saying that my parents didn't do that. My parents did the very best that they could. From but what not, they with, knew, how they knew, yeah, yeah. Exactly. from what they knew, and obviously their their environment. And I was even saying this to Casey um, a while ago is that our parents went through what they went through. They mm. did what they could, mm. and us now we're in a completely different environment to our mm. parents. Mm-mm. Like, what we are dealing with right now is new to our parents and new to us. Yeah. It's not that our parents went through it because our parents moved here. We're the first generation here. Yeah. Yeah. So, we are learning the same way they were learning as exactly. well. No, I feel, so, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like... Casey, what's your view on this situation? Um, I think that I... Um, I think new school, period. New school, period. Really? Yeah. I think there is an element that is missing from new school, I feel. I'm not a parent yet, so I can't speak on it too much, but the parts of the new school type of parenting that I like is parents being open to apologising to their kids. Yeah, I agree. That's something I feel like I needed. Um, I feel like things like uh, parents explaining their feelings rather than just, like, getting angry Mm -hmm. or, like, you see how um, you said your dad gave you a stern look I think that makes so much sense. And mm. I think the idea of having small, small fear of your parents yeah. to maybe guide you in other ways is yeah. fine. I think it it's obviously works for people. Maybe it might be worth exploring what life would be like if rather than like um, putting fear into my kids not to do something, they knew it wasn't right to do because I explained why. Okay. Yeah. And that part I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes, but like again... When, they, when you ask a the question, they say said. Exactly, yeah. like, oh, Dead why can't I just, just don't do it? Yeah. Just don't yeah. do it. And, yeah, and then it, in that moment, it would be down to my curiosity over how much I fear my parents. That's true. And if curiosity wins, I might land myself in a predicament where if I'd just known why I probably shouldn't have done it, yeah, I probably would've wouldn't have good. done it. Yeah, and that's where you, you're now, like, there's a, that grey area and, like, moving through life, you don't know what is going yeah. on. Yeah, like, and sometimes you don't, you, don't tr- you don't trust yourself. And also, I feel like one big thing that I've noticed about discipline or something I've seen, mm. when you have the stern African traditional parents that say, no, 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 you can't do, you can't do, you can't do. Yeah. The minute you get an ounce of freedom, That's you it, move man. Yeah, mad. Yeah, you, uni you was a, was a, was a ex- example Yo, of it everyone. You yeah. move mad. Some, yeah, people, yeah. some people went to uni and they were done by the Scattered. second week yeah, yeah. because yeah. they've never known freedom before. There's one girl that I knew, She, um, her parents used to own like a Nigerian, like a food shop mm. and she used to work there after school. So it was like, you go to school, you go to the shop, you go mm. home. They meant no well. no friends. They, they, meant well. they meant well, but there isn't, you are supposed, like your kids, your kids shouldn't know school, mm. work, They need to, they need they some need sort to of know something to else. Themselves. Yeah, and yeah. She, they were always very, very strict, always shouting, you know, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. Yeah. The minute she went to university, Scared. absolutely done out. Weeks wow. later, we're hearing stories about how she's here, how she's doing this, how she's wow. doing that. She was moving mad because she had never known freedom like that before. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that is so detrimental. It. It's dangerous it is, as well. Yeah. Like, and that's how, you know, a lot of a lot of people that, that grew up with that kind of old school, traditional you know, discipline and way of growing up. Yeah. I yeah. personally, I'm not a fan. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you guys a question though. Sorry. Would you guys beat your kids? Uh, not beat, but... Mm. I'm, would I beat my kids? Beat is a wild word, but... Yeah, no, it's a very wild you know word, what? but I get what like, you're would saying. You, would you smack your kids? Would you I, discipline you know your kids what? with your hand? No, no, I think the, the what I would do is, do you know that to like, mm-hmm. 
that. I, I don't think I can. The thing is, yeah, I, I don't think I I'm, could beat them. The, I'm, I'm not. Dad, a, I'm, forgive me. Yeah. The well, way. No, they're yeah. gonna. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, the, way, the thing is, yeah. The thing is, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the kind guts. of one. I'm the kind. Exactly. Uh, Statue of limitations, not on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah. I'm the kind of person where I'm like, uh, yeah, because I've learned. I feel like beating your kids, you get to a point where it's like, it's not effective anymore. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, yeah, what yeah. was the point of doing it in I the first think place? Ever I was. think. I feel like this kid's yeah. I'm looking at you, it's like, what you did? No, you deserve beats. Because yeah. you're, 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 you're a monster you're much kid. A you're boy. a naughty kid. But I don't, I don't think beating works. So I don't think I would do. You, do. No. Do, do, yeah. I think it I needs think, to get to that I, stage. I, yeah, I've, definitely. I, I, I now agree with what you're saying mm. in the sense that but I'm, I've, I've, seen a, parents, I've, so. seen a, I've seen a lot of people and you don't know what the parents going through. Yeah. But the thing is, that might be with the trauma or whatever that exactly. they're going through, that exactly. they're doing that. But would I... Okay. The question is, would I want to beat my kids? No, no, definitely not. I don't want to beat my kids. I want to be able to talk to them through situations. Mm-hmm. But I understand the frustration that parents... Well, I don't understand because I'm not a parent. But yeah. I can see the frustration that they probably go through mm. where it's like, it's a troublesome child. It's like, mommy, 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 and mommy. Yeah, hand. and it's like, just it's, it's, that, it's not like... Yeah. The beating that I've seen... Like belts. Belts. Apparatus. Yeah. Booting doors down. Getting yeah. beat in the bathroom. Yeah, wooden spoon. Those type so, of beatings. Unless they're getting beat in the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm very particular. Yeah. Those those <laughs> beatings. No, I've no, I've seen I've seen people get beat in the bathroom. Those type of beatings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. It, yeah. Those type of beatings, I would I do not I will yeah. not do that. I want to be able to talk to my kids calm. The thing is, I've never put my hand to anybody, like mm. seriously, to do any like ever. I've never been in a fight, God willing. I've never I've never done anything like that. So me. Never doing that in my 27 years of living and then doing and that to doing a child. It, yeah. Wild to me. You've never yeah. been in a fight, did you say? Never been in a fight before. Wow. I've never... Like, but, nothing. One. but <laughs> Do you know what? Oh, this, this, is the question, this is the question I'm going to ask. Even though you've never been in a fight. I've never fought with my siblings. But nothing. have you... <laughs> have I been beaten up? Yes. No, have you been beaten? <laughs> what, by my, what, by, by my parents? Yeah. Have you ever got your ass whooped? By, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so, and I don't like it. And no, it no, did, yeah. And it didn't oh, do okay, anything. yeah, I hear that, I hear yeah, that. It didn't do anything. Mm. There, there didn't was make never you t- want to go and watch yeah, like, there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was never a time <laughs> where... You, well, like, yeah, whooping. yeah. Uh, <laughs> did we, wait, did we ever fight? Yeah, you know, yeah, we, me and you go into some tussles. We're two guys. I have no business doing that. I've, I've got sisters. Yeah. I, I have no business fighting anybody. I don't think, I don't think women do that. I think it's no, a no, guy no. thing. Women, no, women fight. What, women, sisters? Women fights are worse than men. Of course. Of course women yeah, fight. Toby, we men free each other over the No, banister. no, no. Women's fights are worse than men. That's a guarantee. I've seen some women fight here. But yo. Women women fight, for God's sake. Yo, I didn't know that. Sisters fight. but I, Sister, sister. Everybody knows that I'm not the I'm not a violent person. Yeah. So you, not, can't, you can't do that to me because I I, I don't that. want it. So yeah. in so in that way, and I feel like even when I think of the times that my parents have like you know disciplined me with belt or whatever and mm. stuff like that, yeah. There was one time I went out when I was young. I know we don't have time, so I won't take too long. But um, I went out um, to a party when I was supposed to go follow them to church, and mm. I, I didn't go. And then the night after, the day after, because I came back the next morning, I, I was sixteen at the time. So my parents, my dad beat me at the age of 16. And I was like, like, why are you doing? Like, when he was beating me, I was just like, why? Like, what? Yeah. What are yeah. you doing right just, now? Just, <laughs> I've gone out already. I've come back. I've disappointed you already. Why are you beating me? Like, yeah. what, what's yeah. going on here? Like, what is this? And I think that was for, that was the last time I got beat. I mean, very late in the day. Mm. But that was the last time I got beat. But then I had done something else that disappointed my mum. And she was like to me, I'd done similar things. Like I'd been out all night. Yeah. I'd come back. I was like 17 at the time. And she was like, I'm not even angry. I'm just disappointed in you. Since that day, yeah, yeah. that's that's hearing that, that is hearing the thing that's stuck that. in my mind. Yeah, I, I, I don't feel, give a shit about my dad beating me. That is the one that's your parents yeah. saying they're disappointed in you is a big thing, man. And yeah, so it sometimes, hurts. And yeah, so hurts. sometimes when you know that there is a more effective way to doing that, yeah, you know, you will do it that way. And can I just say as well, before you say something, there's a particular person that I I know. Okay, well, let's just do it. I had been in a, a, a really nasty situation with this particular guy, right? And he's mad violent. And then when we got to talking a bit more into it and like, I'd been around his parents and stuff. It was through the way I saw his parents treat each other and treat him. Mm. I was like, no wonder you are the way you are. Yeah. And so a lot of people, like you will come to find that all it takes is for you to see how they were treated yeah. and how they, what they associate with anger, being angry and what anger <clears throat> can get you. So for instance, <clears throat> if I shout at you all the time because you're doing something wrong, you will now feel like it's acceptable for you to shout at somebody else when you yeah. think they're not doing right. And sometimes I'm saying shouting out could be beating, 
if you get a beat because if Lash you get beaten out, because yeah. you tried to do something that worked and it didn't work let's say you try to cook for yourself you're nine years old you try to cook food for yourself you burnt the kitchen and your parents beat you but you were just Trauma. trying to be independent you don't want to cook now anymore. you never want to try anymore you don't want to do anything you don't yeah. want to do and then that's how things just be yeah. following you you don't even know how yeah. it works so yeah. me i don't like i don't actually think, think there's anything constructive to beating anybody yeah. I, you so can't so say it with your mouth. So you say new school then? Nah, I'm one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I agree. I agree. Right. I agree. Um, 100%. We have, have taken the time, but I'm gonna move swiftly through these. Ah. It's gonna be no. It's gonna. It's just gonna be Quick new school. Fire. Old school. Yes, okay. okay, jewelry. Old school. The new school. New school. Old school. I am new not school. wearing those. Those. Are you metal kidding? Medallions. Are you seeing the but chains but now? I really, but I really metal like medallions. It. I have really. No, I'm not thinking of like flavor flaves. I'm no, it's not about like, flavor flaves. I'm talking. Right no, 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 no. Oh, no that's that, that's different. Why? It's the only reason why I said I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, we're doing 80s and 90s versus yeah. 2000s. Yeah. yeah, of course. Because I was thinking about early 2000s and those chains, those those metal rim chains. Yeah, were just I'm terrible. I don't care. New school. The creativity in the new school. New school. Beautiful. And I'm loving the diamonds. 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 You're thinking of like bust downs and stuff. You don't no, like no, diamonds? No, no, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the bust down watches. I'm talking about the chains. The, the chains, creativity the creativity in the chains. No, 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 no. Rope I chains are old good. Rope chains, Casey. Cool Rope chains, Casey. Dumb Cubans, gold, bamboo Cubans, earrings, Casey. all that kind of stuff. Are you seeing the chains? Cool is. Are you seeing Good the chains? Ways. The women are wearing these. Old days. school. You don't like diamonds. You don't like diamonds. Lie, you don't right? like diamonds. Well, diamonds just came right. Wait, wait, you don't like diamonds. I see. Bu- I, I, you I don't like that. Di- don't. I you, do you want to burk it? Glacier, you want to burk it? How do we get it? I see. Boy, yeah, glacier, come on, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, pick <laughs> one. Um, TV shows. Old school, new school. Old school for sure. Old school. Ah, but when did my wife and kids? Wife and kids is two thousand. Damn, 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 damn. New school. New school. No, old school. No, new school. Okay. What's before that? Fresh Prince. What's before that? Fresh Prince. Okay, oh. and that's it. Okay. One on one, new school. New school. Okay. Wife and kids, right. new school. Half and okay. half, new school. Next Very odd parents, okay. new school. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait. All of us. New school. comedians, old school, new school. Old school, old school, hundred percent. Yeah, because yeah. Kevin Hart, yeah, is good for what he is, but he ain't coming but next. He ain't like, yeah, he ain't no right. Cat Williams. It, yeah. I thought Cat Williams is new school. No, he isn't. He's old school. Mm. Dave Chappelle's no. new school. No, Dave Bernie Chappelle Mac. is old school. Bernie, Bernie Mac is old school. Eddie Murphy's old school. Eddie Murphy's oh, Eddie Murphy's old school. He's old school. Eddie Murphy's Yeah, it's old school. Um, what's his name? Chris is it? Tucker. No, Chris, is it Chris? Chris Stokes? Rock. No, Chris Rock. Old school. I wasn't checking for him in that way. Yeah, that's All it. Right. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Hart's the real school new, school. new school. For me. New okay, school for me. social media, old school or new school? It's new school. It's new school, but I don't like the, tox- the toxic- toxicity. toxicity. It's too much. Toxicity. Mm. Um, old school. Old school. Yeah, because I miss it was just vibes. Space, you know, actually, man. No, the thing is, yeah, I was on old school, but I wasn't on old school as much as I'm new school. Yeah, so I'm new school. do you know? Yeah, yeah because you're older now. I feel yeah. it's it's new school for me. But the one thing I like about old school is the creativity. I never had. What B- you? I never had BlackBerry, so I never had BB. <laughs> BlackBerry. I was on an iPhone. Sorry, guys. Pixo. Pixo. All of that stuff where you had to be yeah. creative and show your style through your pages exactly. is what I loved. But I was never a graphic designer, so all my pages <laughs> just had else. just had the graffiti <laughs> SpongeBob that I barely ah. put very, on the page. Very basic. I didn't just shine it like this. <laughs> very, very basic. <laughs> the graffiti ah, no. SpongeBob like this. <laughs> <laughs> and my pictures like this. And then your picture. Well, SpongeBob was always angry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, Pixar used to have the pictures, you know, in that. The, you know, the little. Um, oh, what are those pictures in the square white frame? Nah, what's, the, what's the old school picture that you take? It's like Chiki and he comes out with a paper. Oh, Polaroids. Oh, Polaroids, Polaroids right? Yeah, so yeah. Pixel also used to watch the Polaroid yeah! picture. You used to put your little at on the bottom of your little name. <laughs> that has stars and fireworks. Yeah. Wow. That's, I, that's what I like. I like the innocent creativity that you yeah. Yeah, have. Yeah, that's true. But the thing that I love about new school is obviously like, you know, it's vibes, isn't it? Like, yeah, we're it enjoying vibes, ourselves and we're older, we can enjoy it. But the one thing I don't like about new school social media is I don't like the fact that kids that are 13... Yeah, and people like me that are twenty seven, we're all seeing the same thing in the same page. That. Because that's why I feel like girls that are sixteen are wearing lashes, wigs, frontals, and all of that. You Everything's getting very. This is why it's kids at the age of thirteen yeah. have Birkins. Yeah, it's mm, well, that's different. It's all it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's all the same. Yeah. Like it's the it's the th- it's the fact that we're all taking in the same thing. But I know when I was eleven mm. on Pixo. There weren't olders on Pixo there with me. And if re- they were, I they really shouldn't have been. Because the thing they is, yeah, know I'm, about that. Yeah. I'm starting to get very, very frustrated with TikTok, even though I think it's an amazing platform, yeah. But it's like there's a lot of like R rated stuff that's on TikTok where it's like little kids shouldn't be looking at yeah. or yeah, listening but, to. Uh, but yeah, they're but dancing all... to it, they're doing all that, it's all blending together. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, as you said, MySpace, Pixel, it was separated. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Facts. Last one. Old school relationships or new school relationships? 
Ooh. Can that not be the last one? I got one more. That is the last one. No, we got one. Okay, more. what's the, what's yours? No, no, let's do relationships. Um, I can't, I can't speak to it, but I think uh, new school. I can't speak too much on old school relationships either, other than what I saw in movies, which is fake. Yeah, but if so, we no, but if we imagine like that type of thing, I I would say new the, school. The love, what the love was amazing, but new school is just like it's what we made it to be. Yeah, so, and yeah. I think the thing that I like about new school is as well is that people are very open to, and this is, same goes for parenting. Mm. There is a real openness in talking about mental health. Yes. And like it's not just as simple as black and white, like you love cheat, I love, leave, you and do I'm the, here yeah, for the love and love you only. Do, you make the money, I do this, da 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 da. Yeah. Like there is a lot of like evenness mm. and like people are just open. We're just open to having conversations. That's true. Open to talking about different things, open relationships yeah. and you know, just like just the more openness. Mm. I think there's a lot more of that now. Yeah, until until you said that to me, said that just now, I do you know what it didn't come it didn't come to my mind how important that is. Yeah, yeah. The because the old mental, school relationship was like aspect. you're in it, you don't talk at all. You don't yeah. talk, you don't say nothing. You just we're just here for the love. And, and I vibes. can't, I can't lie. It's yeah. not even love and vibes. It's, it's love and vibes it. essentially because it's like everything. Love, love, love. Basically, is above all. Yeah, and sometimes a there guy, was, a there guy was no love there, and they love stayed anyway. Love. Sometimes it wasn't even about love. It was just about sticking. Well, we're sticking we're just sticking to it. That's what I was gonna say. And and like you know. I'm not, uh, I feel like I'm putting my mum out there. But I look at like my mum's situation. I look at like my parents' marriage and stuff. And I wonder with like all of the things that they've been through and I, everybody has been through lots of stuff. I just wonder what my mum would have done if- She was new school. If there was, if there was a level of openness where she felt like she could have done some things mm. differently. Because old school marriages and relationships, like once they get in it, there was That's a way that, it. you know, they, they, there's a, a thing that they have to stick to. And I wonder whether like with the context of the things that they've been through, you know, traveling from Nigeria to here, like my mum came here first mm. and my dad was in Nigeria for a further two years. If there wasn't that, if there was another option of a way that things could have been done amongst yeah. other things, you just wonder how things would have been. But the thing is, we also, we also need to be aware that when it comes into a relationship, it's more than just love. Like, a lot of us, we just see it as we love, love, love. Yeah, it's not even the commitment. Yeah. There are, like, but there are lots of other contexts. There's, there's, so, there's yeah, so, so many. many but the thing is, is that there is more to it than just love. Mm. Yeah. Like, don't, like, don't just look at love and just be like, I'm like, there's more, there's more to it. Yeah. yeah, but we're not talking about love, we're talking I've, about relationships. I think, yeah, okay, relationships. Yeah. And yeah. I think the aspect of it being more open and the mental aspect of it that's is it. part that's of it. what you're yeah. talking yeah. about yeah. anyway. That's it, that's it. All right, cool. My, Casey, my final awesome? one, nice and fun and friendly. Yeah. New school versus old school, trainers. New school. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'll tell you about old school. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'll tell you about old school. Old school. New school's ass. Tell me. New school's ass. Understand this. When did Air Force... New school's full of retros anyway, for goodness sake. Yeah, everything <laughs> is retro. Everything, everything is in retro. the new school that is banging is the old school. So that's actually okay, old school. But when we talk about new school, the things that are new, so like yeah, Sakai, yeah. LD Waffles, yeah, no, no. the Mags. Vapor new Waffles. Old school. Mags. Old school. Yeah, it's old, old school. school. Old Mags is old school anyway. Because if you... Yeah, Mags is old school. It's old school. If you really... But it's back to the future. So is ah. it? Ah, but it. it was, but it was done in the past. But it's no, for but back, for to, back the to the future. They went to the future which to is wear the now shoe. Now the present. Mm. But he got, he was wearing the trainers in the past. No, no, yeah, no, no, but no, he got them. The film Back to the Future. And he went to the future. Got the shoe from the future. So tried to take it to the past. Didn't come to the past. So stay in the future. Think about it. 2012. Good times. All right. Anyway, yeah. Uh, old school. Is, anyway, it's old school. Yeah, man. yeah. If it wasn't old school, we wouldn't keep on getting these same. So round up, round up quickly, round up quickly. Old school versus new school. Which one's better? Cool. No, if you could live in one era, 80s to 90s, new school. To now. New school. Now. Yeah. I'm now. New school. I ain't gonna that, I am not trying. <laughs> that would just I so. ain't <laughs> trying to be. Was on the <laughs> there was, was a lot of racism. racism. Yeah, racism. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't trying to stand back in the bus. It wasn't easy. No way. No way. Yeah. All right, that settles it. No time like the present for real. That settles it. So it seems like new school's better than the old school, guys. Who said all that? We can live. We can live harmoniously. Yeah. That's what we're doing right now. We have no choice. All right, we need to go. We got over the time, guys. Thank you very much for rocking with us for another episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout yeah. out to um, all the people that rock with us consistently every yeah, single man, week. Yeah, man, we appreciate y'all. Man. What is my guy's name? My actual favorite person that is always showing love. Edmund. Where is Edmund? Edmund, shout out Edmund, Shout man. out to you, man. I appreciate the comments. Nah, we really do, love. man. Love. Every single he, time, for real. Mm. I, I love how active he is. Like, yes, yeah, and, I, I love and the commentary, man. We, we, we love it. We, we will go actually in, look forward to seeing you. Word, All right, guys. That brings us to the end. Look at us on a little shout out. All right, guys. You can follow us on the gram like we said earlier. Okay, Roads 500 is alive and well. Mm. Okay, DBTH podcast. That's where you can find us. Twitter, DBTH underscore podcast. You can find us on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts and YouTube all by searching DBTH podcast. Any other business? Nope. 
Road to 500. If you want a free voucher, you better jump on Road you to know 500. What to do. Mm. Subscribe, like, and comment if you're already here at YouTube Town. And until yeah, yeah, yeah. then, we'll we see out. you next week. We are out. Peace. Peace.